Hello and welcome. This presentation will center upon the Keystone School, including detailed information about the Keystone School's mission, its website, program, and course options, student populations served by the school, teaching staff requirements, and the school's administrative structure. Additionally, through an interview with a current attending family, consumer forums, blog posts, articles, and data, the effectiveness of the Keystone School to support student learning will be discussed. The Keystone School is an online private school headquartered in Bloomsburg, Pennsylvania. It is a division of K-12 Inc., one of the largest providers of virtual schools in the nation. The Keystone School has existed for 40 years with flexible education models. Keystone offers online curriculum options and has programs at the elementary, middle, and high school levels. Correspondence courses are available for high school and credit recovery. Keystone also serves adult learners over 19 looking to either receive a high school diploma or earn certification in specific career sectors. Full-time or part-time supplemental and credit recovery options are accessible for individual students or through school system partnerships. The Keystone School highlights three qualities of its institution, flexible, accredited, and online. On the website's homepage, it states that the Keystone School offers flexible education programs for high school, middle school, and elementary school students that help each student achieve their unique dreams and goals. The Keystone School offers more than 170 courses from credit recovery to world languages and AP. Students can enroll at any time. Flexibility is the foundation of the Keystone School approach. Its methods support students to build the discipline they need to succeed whether that's in college, a job, trade school, the military, performing arts, or wherever they dream to go. The mission states that the Keystone School provides high-quality, flexible, individualized educational experiences in a safe, technology-enabled learning environment to empower students to achieve their academic and personal goals. The mission includes four elements that work together to support student success, school culture, engagement, instruction, and achievement. All stakeholders are involved in the mission, including Keystone School staff, students, parents, and school partners. Keystone is accredited through Advance Ed and the Middle States Association of Colleges and is licensed in Pennsylvania. While it appeals to diverse types of students, including athletes like Abby Holcomb, a competitive whitewater kayaker, there is no mention of serving students with learning disabilities and no special educators listed in their faculty and staff. Thus, the special education population does not appear to be Keystone's primary audience. Keystone does not have required amounts of time that students must be logged on to their learning management system. Keystone provides great freedom in when and how students engage with the content as long as they complete the coursework within 365 days. Subsequent slides will discuss in greater detail the offerings of the different levels of instruction. As an overview, Keystone offers correspondence and online courses at the high school level and offers a Keystone Plus program that provides additional support to learners than the standard program. There are also elementary course options not shown here. Because of the different course offerings and the flexibility in which course and how many students enroll in, there are different price points based on student choices, with discounts for five or more courses, multi-student families, or military families. Blackboard is used to deliver course content and facilitate communication between students and teachers. Because students enroll at any point during the school year, the dynamic course schedule is used to help students pace out the work for each course over the duration of time. Through clubs, discussions, and social media, Keystone students have opportunities for social outlets with peers in the virtual setting. Keystone uses a variety of means to communicate with students and parents. It provides resources and states that its staff, including various departments and teachers, will reply to any correspondence within 24 hours. Progress reports are sent bi-weekly to families. The Pennsylvania State Assessments are called Keystone Exams. This is somewhat confusing when trying to locate testing data for the Keystone School, particularly because there are a handful of other public and private schools in Pennsylvania that also have Keystone as part of their school name. After fine-tooth searching on the Pennsylvania Department of Education website that posts Keystone exam results and data for individual schools and across the state from 2013 to 2017, no testing results linked to the Keystone School were listed. Locating SAT or AP testing data that could be traced back to Keystone was also difficult. The only testing data found was within the Keystone School's website and promotional material. Thus, this data is somewhat suspect in that it cannot be verified through third-party means, and there is no indication of how many student testing samples are included in these figures. There is a plethora of information on the Keystone School website in a user-friendly and aesthetically pleasing format. While the target audience for the website is primarily parents and students of K-12 schools, with a heavier emphasis on the secondary level, adult learners, school systems, and educators looking for career opportunities within Keystone or K-12 Inc. will also find valuable information on the site. FAQs, testimonials, links to catalogs, career opportunities, a live Facebook Q&A session with the family, the head of school's blog, technology support information, and software and browser requirements are a sampling of the information readily accessible through the Keystone website. The elementary program at Keystone includes a combination of interactive online lessons and offline materials. 70% of the elementary work time will be offline, whereas 30% will be online. An adult at home serves as the elementary student's learning coach. 
Weekly teacher-led sessions occur with online planning, progress tracking, and assessments. Courses can be purchased separately by content areas or by grade level bundles. The middle school offers a complete program or supplementary courses for grades 6 through 8. For complete grade level enrollment, students take five courses, which includes the four core subjects and one elective. Advanced courses include algebra and world language courses. Keystone's high school program has over 150 course options, including AP and world language courses, and serves 9th through 12th grade students. Students must have completed 8th grade or be 14 years old to enroll. Full-time high school diploma tracking programs, supplemental programs, online, and correspondence courses are available. While college-bound students are encouraged to take at least two credits of the same world language as part of their electives, it is not required. Students must earn a total of 21 credits of high school coursework in order to receive their diploma. Keystone's credit recovery courses are designed for students who have failed a previous attempt at a course. Students complete short-term coursework for credit to be awarded at their primary school's discretion. Prior to enrolling, students should first request approval from their school counselor, principal, or other authorized school official at their school of record. The courses are offered as Part A or B to mirror the half credits that make up the full year courses in traditional school models. Keystone has two adult learning programs. One is a pathway for students over 19 years of age to receive a high school diploma. The second is the Keystone Career Connect program, which provides opportunities for adults to gain certification in medical transcription, medical billing and coding, and information and support services. Keystone offers a range of solutions at the secondary level for public, private, and alternative schools. This can vary from credit recovery programs to supplemental course offerings and will be decided by school systems who wish to incorporate Keystone secondary programs into their curriculum. The Keystone School provides a few demos for some of their courses. The overviews show the LMS system they use, Blackboard, and the general layout of course sections, assessments, activities, and discussions that students must complete for each course. The teacher is available for questions and grading, but is not providing the instruction. The student works through the sections independently at his or her own pace. I conducted an interview with Amelia Danker, a current Keystone student, and her mother Lee on July 6, 2018. The first two parts of the phone interview are linked via Vokuru hyperlinks. The third part of the interview continued after part two but was not recorded. Amelia has been attending Keystone School since eighth grade and would have been set to graduate from high school this past June. Amelia is a pre-professional ballerina who sought alternative school options due to an increasingly strenuous training schedule that impacted her ability to go to a traditional school for the full day. Overall, the Dankers expressed a positive experience with Keystone School, stating that staff and teachers were responsive and that the education was of high quality. It must be noted, however, that Amelia has not completed her final four core classes in order to receive her high school diploma and is beyond the 365-day window to do so. Thus, the Dankers are discussing whether to extend the course, which is possible with additional fees, or pursue a GED. Amelia has not taken any standardized tests required of other students residing in her home state of Maryland, nor taken tests such as the SAT for college admission. For now, she is pursuing her dancing career. It must be noted, however, that her levels of achievement cannot be fully measured without some standardized testing, even though she received better grades in the online school setting than she had been receiving in the traditional setting. When asked to provide some advice or attributes necessary for a student to be successful at Keystone, the Danker shared a need for self-discipline and independence on the student's part, along with strong and consistent parental support, not to mention appropriate technology tools to be able to complete the work. 
Amelia indicated that the courses required a lot of reading and self-learning, with teacher presence for grading and answering specific questions, but not actually delivering instruction of the content. The one criticism the banker shared was the excessive amount of busy work that the Keystone courses required, with no option to not submit an assignment. Thus, in order to receive credit for the course, every single assignment must be turned in by the student, and there are many, many assignments for each course. Despite the posted 24-hour reply time, I did not receive a response to my email sent on July 5, 2018, requesting administrator or teacher contacts. While the faculty names and bios are provided on the website, direct contact information for individuals is not, only the general information email and phone number. The administrative leadership of the Keystone School includes Erica Rohn as head of school and Jennifer Unger as senior director of school operations. While Ms. Rohn guides and directs the academic programs, Ms. Unger oversees student admissions, student services, data processing, logistics, and tech support departments. After searching through the Keystone website for contact information and trying to make LinkedIn requests with Erica Rohn and Jennifer Unger, I found Ms. Rohn's email address on a newsletter to parents. I sent a direct email on July 6, 2018 with interview questions included and never received a response. According to the faculty and staff page on Keystone's website, the additional departments are guidance services, account management, student services and admission, student engagement support, data processing, logistics, and academic administration. It is notable that only one guidance counselor is listed and one guidance assistant. For a school that boasts having 600 high school students each year graduate, not to mention elementary, middle, credit recovery, and adult programs, this seems grossly inadequate to meet the neat guidance needs of all students and families in the school. By far, the largest faculty population is made up of instructors. There are about 70 names on the faculty and staff page on the website. According to the sample job posting, teachers must be certified to teach in Pennsylvania, since that is the state for the school's accreditation. In addition to teaching certification and experience, strong technology and communication skills are also required. A mandatory three-week professional development training is provided prior to school beginning. It is an opportunity to meet colleagues and learn the responsibilities required for delivering curriculum in an online environment. During this training, teachers will also learn how to monitor student progress through K-12's learning management system and to be a partner actively working with students and parents to advance each child's learning. Keystone School is part of K-12, America's leading provider of K-12 online education. According to the United States Securities and Exchange Commission, Schedule 14A for K-12 Inc. from October 28, 2015, a 10-person board of directors oversees four committees and five named executive officers are listed. Mr. Murray resigned as President and Chief Operating Officer in September of 2015. K-12 Inc. is the largest operator of for-profit charter schools in the country and is a national leader in running online full-time public schools in numerous states. The company has long been a target of critics who have questioned the quality of its schools as well as its spending and lobbying practices. As is often the case with any service, educational model, or consumer product, there are supporters and detractors. Private virtual schools, such as the Keystone School, are also subject to public opinion shared in forums, consumer review sites, blogs, and social media. There are both positive and negative comments that can be found in these areas. Concerns range from poor or non-existent refund policies after 30 days of inactivity, to dissatisfaction with curriculum or responsiveness and friendliness of the school staff. Positive remarks point to the flexibility of its model and timely communication and feedback from staff. While these reviews are not academic in nature and the authenticity of authorship is not always verifiable, they do impact public opinion and may affect potential consumerism of Keystone and its services. What virtual schools offer is an alternative opportunity for students to access education outside of a traditional model. The Keystone School is no exception. It provides options at all levels of instruction, K-12 through and beyond, with opportunities for advancement and credit recovery. While it appears that the Keystone School works best with high-achieving and self-disciplined students who have strong adult support, a broad range of students, both within the U.S. and abroad, could enroll in the school and have the possibility of success. The main benefits of the school are their flexible timelines and accreditation, so students are able to learn any time, anywhere, and use the credits earned through Keystone at other secondary or post-secondary institutions, or in their careers. Many of the challenges are shared across virtual schools collectively. It is difficult to find reliable data that shows student academic progress or graduation rates relative to their student population. Specific criticism of Keystone centers on excessive busy work and their inflexible curriculum. Additionally, while there is no attendance requirement for students to log into their Blackboard system, according to consumer reviews, after 30 days of inactivity, students can with are withdrawn from courses and not granted refunds. Teacher roles are minimized to grading and only answering student questions, not content and lesson delivery. Thus, the learning process requires self-study, substantial reading, and organizational skills. This may be an excellent fit for some, but not for others. The Keystone School does not appear to cater to students with learning differences, and there is no special education staff or mention of this population in any of their promotional materials. At the very least, it is safe to say that a student or parent considering Keystone can make an informed decision based on the wealth of information available through the website, consumer review, discussion boards, current news articles, and policies relating to the Keystone School and its parent company, K-12 Inc.